Hey everybody, I bet you didn't know that JMRI includes a speedometer app in the software that allows you to measure the speed of your locomotives and that'll help you do a lot of uh, speed, con uh, speed matching with your consist. We're going to get into that and show you how to do that on this video right now. But if you're new to the channel, hello everyone, my name's Steven and this is Signal Up Productions. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and let's get into how to set up this speedometer on the computer. Let's go. All right, so I'm here at the UPSF joint line and we've got our uh, computer up here that has uh, the connection with our uh, layout through the Digitrax PR4 and we've got the JMRI software set up here. It's communicating properly with the layout. Now on JMRI, I'm just going to do this with the GoPro today. Uh, if you go up here to your main uh, panel pro window, you go to tools and down to speedometer, it brings up the speedometer utility window and you enter in the information into this uh, and I'll go into each one here in just a second. And then when you run your locomotive across the sections that you're using for your speedometer, it'll give you the scale miles per hour down here uh, automatically calculated. So you got to start this window each time you're going to uh, use JMRI. And what you need to do is uh, know which sensors on the layout you're going to use uh, to measure the speed. So I've got a short section, an OS section here uh, between the signals out there on the double track section of uh, the main level. And I know that uh, this sensor uh, is a LS156. And this sensor is a 150, but we're not going to use that one. We're just going to use uh, this sensor here, the 156, to turn on the speedometer timer. And then when it reaches uh, on the other side of the uh, OS for that control point, past the, uh, the home signal there, then we're going to use this sensor to turn off the timer. That sensor is sensor 151. So what we will do is for sensor 1, we see right there it says uh, this sensor starts a timer on entry. So when that sensor becomes active, that's LS156. And then the sensor that stops the timer whenever that sensor goes active is that LS151. LS but it needs to know the distance for timer 1 in scale feet. So let's go in the other room and measure that real quick. All right, so I have an OS section here between uh, that signal right here that you can see it. We've got our gap between the um, different detection sections for our signal system. So we're going to uh, piggyback on this uh, detection section to use uh, for our timer. But the system needs to know exactly how long it is from that block boundary down here to this one here. But it needs it in scale feet. So we, we're going to use uh, this from this end down to that end uh, for our uh, to measure our, our speedometer, measure our speed. So I'm going to set this camera down right here. And I'm going to measure this section between the two gaps. And let's see from there to there. And you want to be as accurate as possible. And this turns out to be exactly 58 inches. But we've got to convert that into scale feet. So 58 inches, that's 4 feet 10 inches. Let's go in here to the calculator and do some math. All right, so we've got our standard calculator up here on the uh, computer. And we've got to remember that HO scale is 187th of the size of the real thing. So if uh, something in HO scale is uh, 87 feet long, then that's one real foot long in, uh, in real life. And the inverse is true. So if uh, something is, um, well, that's uh, 4 feet and 10 inches, then that multiplied by 87 is what that distance is in scale feet. But uh, so 4 foot 10 inches, we need that in a decimal format. So uh, 10 inches uh, in decimal is uh, 0.83. So we have 4.83 feet. And we need to convert that into HO scale. So that's multiplied by... 87 because HO scale is 187. If you're using this for N scale, then you want to multiply that by uh, 160. Uh, or for O scale, I believe it's uh, 48. And so for your individual scale. So what this is doing, we're going to go ahead and calculate that. So it comes up to uh, 420.21 scale feet. We're going to enter that in distance number one scale feet. 
420.21. We're going to start. So now, every try, every time a, a train runs over this section in that direction, where uh, detection section 156 starts the timer, and whenever 151 becomes active, then that timer is going to stop, and it's going to calculate the speed right down here uh, in timer one uh, speed in scale miles per hour. All right, so we're back in here at the layout. We've got our locomotive set up. We're going to use this uh, really fine Union Pacific GP38. We've got it set up to start going. So let's just look here. Let's just watch the locomotive. And you guys guess. Just test yourself. How fast do you think that's going right now? I'm going to guess about maybe 20 to 25 scale miles per hour. So there we're in the section that's going to start the timer. So now JMRI is measuring how long it's going to take to get right up here to this block boundary. Bam. So now it's calculated the speed for that locomotive. Let's go ahead and stop it. And we're going to run into the other room and see what the what it measured. So I, I say 20 to 25 feet. Let's go see. All right, drum roll, please. Let's go in here to the dispatcher room. We're going to look. And what do we have right there? Move that mouse so you can see it better. Boy, I was pretty right on the money there, 20 to 25 miles an hour. So 23.2 miles per hour. That's going to really help you. Uh, do uh, uh, measure all your locomotives for what speed they're going for the uh, speed step you got it set at on your throttle there uh, Which is really going to help you speed match your locomotives get them all running uh, the same uh, Consistently the same speed together uh, So that's built into JMRI. Of course, you're going to need to have uh, detection sections set up on your layout somewhere and uh, if you don't have signaling detection really helps anyways just to know where your trains are on a graphical map like this or um, hidden staging or anything like that. But so that's one thing you're going to need to utilize the uh, speedometer feature of JMRI. Now, of course, that just makes it where it's automatically calculating it for you. You could just uh, measure out a section on your main line, uh, an exact distance and have two marker points on there like um, some push pins or some colored wood blocks or something like that. And then you can just stopwatch. You can just use a stopwatch on your cell phone or something like that and uh, start the timer uh, when your locomotive reaches that first marker point, stop the timer uh, on the other end, and then do the math. Okay, it took, you know, 15 seconds to go the distance of uh, whatever it is you space those blocks, like four feet or something like that. And then you can do the math on what that is. But uh, that's a lot more math than what we had to do to set this up. So if you've already got track detection on your layout using, like what we're using is uh, Digitrax BDL 168. Uh, that detects information on, that detects information on uh, uh, where the train is uh, getting into or out of a block. Then that uh, goes over Loconet to our PR4, which then feeds into our JMRI computer, which then allows uh, the software to do those calculations for us. So it's a lot easier uh, your other alternative, if you're wanting to use some kind of speedometer for your model trains, I think uh, there was a company called AccuLights or Accu, AccuScale uh, that made a, a speedometer that sets over the track and you'd run the train through it. Did the same basic thing. Of course, you didn't need track detection to do that. So if you've already got some kind of track detection, uh, then JMRI would be a great option to uh, just go ahead and piggyback the use of that speedometer that's already built in. All right, so that's a pretty simple and straightforward video. Speedometer that's already built into JMRI using whatever track detection you've got on the layout there. Uh, you just set up the, uh, the sensors that it's gonna use for the timer and the scale distance between there for whatever scale uh, you guys are using, HO or N or O scale or whatever. Um, and that uh, pretty easy way of getting a speedometer built in that uh, you can use for speed matching or uh, the dispatcher can watch that and monitor train speed around the layout or anything like that. So. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if it helped you out. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.